Yeah. Susie, can you give us one look, please? Earlier in the day, a Mark arrived at a PR company to buy a second-hand laptop. But his luck was out. Sorry, I'm afraid they haven't arrived yet. No way. Oh, Instead, guest hustler Rav offered the Mark the chance to join him in buying some gold at a rock-bottom price. You can melt it, you'll make about four grand. But if you sell it wholesale, you could get about five for it. The Mark agreed to get the gold tested by a genuine jeweler. If it turns out to be high quality, he stands to make a nice little profit. But these stay with me. In All That Glitters, part two. It's early evening by the time the Mark and his mate return to the PR company offices. Paul brings them back upstairs and gets out the gold chains, ready for inspection. So you come from far. And right on time, here comes Rav, along with the jeweller. Um, I knew I was going to have a, have a seat. Stuff, what All right, so this is what we've got. These are chains. That... She's brought along a professional gold testing kit. It contains bottles of acid that are used to determine how many carrots or how pure the gold really is. Are you able to actually tell us whether it's 18 yeah, or 22? I can it's 9, 18, it's 23. Well, fake would be bad. Oh, fake <laughs> bad, yeah. Um, rather than check them all, which you're welcome to do, um, I would just pick whichever ones you want to test. If these chains are really 22 karat gold, as Paul has promised, they'll be worth thousands of pounds. Les, if you just want to pick a couple at, at random, just to check out. I think it's this one. That one? It's quite thick and... Yeah, it's pretty thick and chunky, isn't it? Yeah. Start with that one. Right, guys, I'm going to start with the nine carat. Okay, so we've got a little acid solution here. Little tiny drops, all you need. First of all, if it goes green, turquoise, blue, it's fake. Right. If it doesn't show a colour, which this hasn't at all, then it means it's higher than nine carat. Mm -hmm. If this is cheap gold, the acid should make it change colour, but it stays the same. That means it's higher than nine carat. But that's still a long way from the 22 carats Paul has promised. Next solution test between 14 to 24 carats. Again, what you need to do. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no colour change on that at all. Yeah. What's well, so that one is? That indicates that it's 20. 24 carats. So that's even better. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well. So what's yeah. the value of that? The gold is worth even more than expected. No colour change means this isn't 22 but 24 carats. That's 99.9% .9 pure gold. Rav wants to test another chain, just to be sure. Do you have anything to compare the test with, by the way? The mark's still being cautious. Yeah, like a, a nine carat gold. Likely, we're not going to see one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to see one. I'm happy with those 24. Do you guys have a gold chain or anything? Nah, I don't wear jewellery. They'll have to rely on the jeweller's word. If there's no colour change again, this whole batch must be 24 karat gold. So again, that's the same grade of gold. Yeah, that would be 24's as high as it goes, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's as high as we can test. He takes a closer look to reassure himself. Oh, careful. careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Job done. The jeweller packs away the kit and says her goodbyes. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Nice Thanks very much. Thanks for coming over. So what's really going on? Are the hustlers going to sell the mark pure gold at a fraction of the market price? That's yours. That's yours. Not a chance. Because those chains are anything but 24 karat gold. So how did they fool not just the mark, but also the gold tester? Well, that's where the other hustlers came in. Their roles didn't end with the paparazzi scramble earlier on. As the mark was getting the hard sell from Paul... 18 carat or better, which means it's very good gold. Jess and Jazz were waiting for their cue in a nearby hotel room. Listen, I'm absolutely fine. You guys want to bring somebody in? Yeah. Doesn't matter. The mark really did choose a genuine jeweller from the phone book. 
but the hustlers made a second appointment with the same company for mid-afternoon. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Susie. Come in. Thanks for coming. Jess and Jazz also had some gold they wanted testing in their hotel room. Do you think it's changed colour? Yeah. But the hustlers weren't interested in getting a proper valuation. It was all an excuse for Jazz to get close enough to film the exact make and model of testing kit with a concealed camera. All right, I've got it, Polly. Yep. Right, this is the uh, gold kit she's using. Armed with this footage, the hustlers were able to pick out an identical test kit with exactly the same plastic bottles. Here's this one. Empty this acid. They emptied out the acid and replaced it with water and a touch of food colouring to make it match. Even the cheapest gold won't change colour if you test it with water instead of acid. But how did those bottles get into the jeweller's hands? When she arrived at the office building that evening, she had to go through security. And the security guard just happened to be another hustler. First, I'm going to have to take you some security and have a quick look in your bags. Sorry. It gave Alex an excuse to go through her bags. All he needed then was a little distraction. So what, what is this? Yeah, That's where Rav came in. Oh, hi, you here to test the gold? Yeah. Brilliant. Hi, I'm Jack. How you doing? Yeah, I'm Annabelle. Whilst he distracted the jeweller, Alex replaced the acid bottles with ones containing water. Well, I'm one of the ones that's, uh, that's called you to stay, so you're actually going to do us a big favour just to make sure everything's OK. Yeah, no. Upstairs, is that all right? Yeah, Brilliant. So that all seems to be in order. Put that back in. Oh, so. There you go. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Rav took her upstairs. Despite all the trickery, the hustlers still weren't sure they'd be able to fool the jeweller. So Paul asked her to test the chains in private before the mark arrived. We were told it was 18 and above. It hasn't changed colour at all, which means that it's 24 colour. Right. Once he was sure he would get the result he needed, he asked her to wait until his potential customer returned and then repeat the test for his benefit. So now, it's down to business. Paul weighs out the chains to work out how much gold they're dealing with. What do we have there? We have 167. He checks the current market rate on the internet. That's what says 4,043.45. The chains are worth more than four grand at the scrap metal rate, but they'll be able to sell them for much more than that. If you guys want to go ahead, what I'll do is I'll split that into two halves. You guys get first choice. So if the mark buys half of the gold for 1,500 quid, he's guaranteed to make a very nice profit when he sells it on. Rav leads the way by getting his money out. Well, I'll let you go. All right. I know you want to count it, but if it's still there, mate, if it's off, you know you want the back. But will the mark also buy the jewellery from someone he's only just met? Yep. The hustlers have a sale. Perfect.